What are the common challenges that mothers and babies face when delivering at 32 weeks? Welcome to this insightful discussion about one of the significant challenges in the journey of motherhood, early delivery. Specifically, we will focus on the hurdles mothers and babies may encounter when delivering at 32 weeks. Preterm delivery or birth before the 37th week of pregnancy can pose a set of unique obstacles and complications for both the mother and the newborn. What are the risks for mothers? During a preterm birth, mothers can face numerous health risks and emotional challenges. Here are some of them. Higher chance of cesarean birth, C-section. Babies born prematurely often present in breech or transverse position which can necessitate a C-section. Infection. If the reason for preterm labor is due to an infection in the mother's body, she may continue to have health challenges even after delivery. Postpartum depression. Women who deliver prematurely are at a higher risk of experiencing postpartum depression, partly due to the stress and anxiety related to the baby's health. What are the risks for babies? Preterm babies face their set of challenges due to their incomplete growth and development, respiratory distress syndrome, RDS. This is one of the most common complications among babies born at 32 weeks. They often struggle with underdeveloped lungs and lack a substance called surfactant that prevents the lungs from collapsing. Infections. Preterm babies have immature immune systems and are thus more prone to infections. Long-term health issues. These might include cerebral palsy, impaired cognitive skills, vision problems, hearing loss, and other chronic health issues. Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, NICU, stay. Babies born at 32 weeks typically require an extended stay in the NICU, as they may need help breathing, feeding, and keeping warm. How can these risks be managed? There are several ways to manage these risks to ensure the best possible outcome. Prenatal care. Regular prenatal care can help doctors identify signs of preterm labor early. Corticosteroid treatment. Mothers at risk of delivering early may receive corticosteroids to help speed up the baby's lung development. Postnatal care for babies. This involves specialized care in the NICU, with close monitoring and support for feeding and breathing. Support for mothers. Emotional support and mental health services for mothers can help manage the psychological impact of a preterm birth. The journey of early delivery at 32 weeks can undoubtedly present several challenges for both the mother and the baby. However, with advancements in medical technology and personalized care, many of these hurdles can be overcome. It's crucial to remember that every mother and baby's journey is unique. Therefore, healthcare professionals will tailor their care approach to the needs of the mother and baby. Here's hoping that this information gives you a deeper understanding of the complexities and challenges of a 32-week delivery. Thank you for watching.